Good morning. I wanted to show you how the mullein plant is growing. And it still hasn't got a flower head yet, but it's getting there. Our little hosta in the shade put out one bloom. I love those for making flower arrangements. They're, they're gorgeous. Now let's take a look at the other part of the garden. Our pepper plants, we moved them to another location and they're getting lots of blooms on them. So they're doing better. And we still have some comfrey blooming. No honeybees, but a lot of little bees. So they're doing good. The okra. Some of the plants are getting real big, and a few of them didn't make it. They were falling behind, so I thinned and took out the smaller ones to give the bigger ones more room. And the dill is happy. And there's a small okra plant. I left it because it's so far over from the other ones. We'll see what it does. And we got a bean growing up uh, the tomato cage. And it decided to, uh, it's spiraling around here looking for a place to land. When it gets a little bit longer, I'll attach it to the fence down here. Once it touches the surface, it will cling to it. And then it'll grow along the fence. So, we got another one. I think there's three down there. So, we got another one growing on this spoke. And there's no tomato plant. This is just for beans. And there's some parsley down there. Some of my onions have taken off. And the nice thing about this is the greens of the plant. The uh, cauliflower, some of the leaves could be cut off and chopped for a salad, just like regular cabbage. And you don't need a whole head of cabbage to, to make a meal. You've got enough small plants, you can chop things up right from the garden, little side clippings. And here our cabbage plant is making lots of seed. And this one got bent. But uh, lots of nice, healthy pods. So we're going to be able to put seed away for a coming season, or we could trade or whatever. But the leaves are edible. I could chop those up and use them in a salad. And our cucumbers, after a couple of good rains, the leaves are looking huge. If I show you down below, they used to look like this. Oh yeah, we got a bean plant down here too. Growing beans. I stuck one in there. And our marigold for flowers to help attract flowers because the cucumber flowers kind of hide like that. It's hidden. But uh, the cucumber leaves on this side of the fence are gorgeous. And when the sun comes up in the afternoon, or comes down, I should say, the other side, these leaves get more sun. So, uh, even though I'm limited on sun, the garden seems to do okay. The potatoes have taken off like gangbusters. I need to hill them a little bit more and, uh, to ensure we'll get bigger potatoes. Otherwise, we'll only get a few small potatoes from each plant. Because... The soil is only as deep as uh, I laid down a barrier against the rocks and the tree roots. So these are living absolutely on the soil we dumped into the box. 
and they seem to be doing very good. Uh, far off, uh, the uh, radishes bloomed, and we're letting those go to seed. I got several good radishes off of there, and uh, I'm a seed saver. Then we have corn. The corn, only about half of it came up. I think half of it got eaten. And uh, I put up some wire. And we got morning glories coming up, which will help filter the sun a little bit when the UV gets nasty in July and August. And uh, if it's too shady, I can always cut back some things. The peas... And we got several pods, but they mostly fell down because I didn't keep at them as much. But on the far side, you can see they're still climbing. So, uh, with the heat, I'm not going to try and force them to, to climb up the fence. I'll just go through and pick the peas. And we got beans taking over the area now, so we got beans to pick. Because I planted them here and there, so... There's going to be plenty. Our bean patch over here in the bucket. It's got tons of beans ready to pick. And they just continue to put out more beans. And this is just a... Uh, right about 16 by 24 bucket. And it's very happy. And I put a hole in the bottom. And just about an inch from the bottom on the side. So that all the water doesn't just flush right out of it. Like a, like a vacuum taking all the nutrients with it. So. The garden's doing great. I wanted to, I could use some of the leaves to eat. I wouldn't take them all, I'd take one from each plant. And we also have some volunteers. Here we got a wild edible, that's called lamb's quarters. And it's perfect, there, there's a bunch of it here. You can eat it like spinach. Apparently it likes my garden. And if I wanted to, I could harvest that already. So that's good. I got some Swiss chard in here that's ready to pick, side pick. We got the red, the yellow, and the green. Now one of the uh, cauliflower plants is still not doing too good because a rabbit got to it before I fenced off the area. But they're doing pretty good. I put up more screening for the heat of the day because this plant just wilted right down about three or four inches in the heat. And as soon as the sun went down, it came right back up. And it didn't matter that the soil was wet. It just couldn't take the heat. But we fixed that. And I throw some grass or whatever on top if I have to. Anything to shade it more if I need to, if it starts showing stress. Hmm. With the way... Uh, heat fluctuates in the UV. It's good to have a little extra protection. If I need to, I could throw a sheet over the top of the wires where the corn and the other plants are too. And then here, we're starting to get some good blooms. Mm -hmm. Got a grape-shaped tomato. Looks like we're doing good. So, these are in a bucket with the milk cartons in the bottom. And it seems like the plants like the system better than the old-fashioned system. They're just here's one that just has soil in it, and the plants uh, are yellowing from too much rain already. So I got to drill some more holes in the side, or one near close to the bottom, because they're not happy. So we just keep trying and testing it. And over here we got more beans that are going to grow up the trellis. The peas over here didn't make it. The weather was too extreme. 
but uh, the beans are doing great. More beans over here. And we planted some radishes over here too. The radishes blooming. We're gonna we're gonna let that go to seed. Forget me nots in here. I just let them cover the soil. And got some uh, lilies coming into bloom. And then we have our loveridge. It's going to seed. Lovage is great to add the soups or mince a little bit up, just like parsley to add flavor to uh, potato salad or whatever. It's great. Nice backup. If you don't have all the spices you're used to, there's always something that you can use, and this is good for you. It actually acts like an MSG, too, uh, flavor enhancer, so it's a great plant. And... Uh, these tomatoes seem to be doing good. We got a couple sunflowers. Out of the six, two came up in the potato patch. And uh, the potatoes seem to be doing great so far. They haven't bloomed yet, but they're really happy. And our one colored romaine seems to be doing good too. And the chamomile in the back. The uh, Celery stumps we planted are growing. There's enough there I could cut the celery leaves if I wanted to use for cooking or whatever. Add celery flavor. Just like you buy celery seed as a seasoning. So uh, there's always ways to use what you have in the garden. A lot of people would look at it and go, oh, well, I only have a couple beans, I only have a couple of this, I only have a couple of that. I got onion tops, but no bulbs yet. And you can trim some of the green leaves and cut them just like uh, chives. Only they're a little, little bit bigger. And make your own onion flavoring. So, uh, get creative. Enjoy your garden. And, uh, let me know how yours is doing too. Thanks.